The third Athens Biennale, Monodrome or One Way Street, is the final part of a trilogy which started with Destroy Athens 2007 and continued with Heaven in 2009. The Biennale uses historical venues throughout central Athens, and this year's choice of the Diplarios School in Plataea Theatru for the central hub is an excellent one. The location alone is challenging, as until recently this area has been perceived as one of the most crime-ridden and dangerous parts of the city. The huge and rambling building that takes centre stage for this third Biennale is extraordinary. First opened in 1932, it was used as a technical school, offering courses such as woodwork, millinery, furniture design and drawing. Now empty, it has a ghostly, otherworldly feel, and its long corridors and deserted classrooms highlight Monodrome's central theme of the structures that make up society – national, historical, cultural and educational. Monodrome is curated by Nicholas Borillo of the Tate Modern and Xenia Kalpatoglu and Poker Young, who are inspired by the life and work of the German critic and philosopher Walter Benjamin. Monodrome comes from Benjamin's One Way Street, written in 1928 and the curators have managed to bleakly represent Greece's ongoing crisis through historical fragments, a pure Benjaminian technique. Following his lead, Monodrome assembles diverse pieces of an historical puzzle that addresses the here and now. It looks at and questions the dictums that have shaped the Greek socio-political and aesthetic identity. This is the first time that the Plarios building has ever been open to the public. And in a way, by staging the Biennale here, the curators and artists of Monodrome have managed to reclaim a part of the city that was once a no-go area for most people. In this time of crisis and uncertainty, when many Greeks are questioning their nation's values and aspirations, Monodrome has literally and figuratively given us a chance to look at ourselves without fright. <laughs>